CP-7022, the Navy Heritage Unit, is dwelling on this manifest heading towards Elkhart, Indiana in the winter time at 17 degrees. Welcome back to the Buckeye St. Wells. Our first train, this one, is 17N, heading from Conway to Elkhart, Indiana. It would leave Conway like early morning hours, and now around like 11 o'clock or something very freezing weather and catching this manifest with the Navy Heritage Unit from Canadian Pacific however these two units the CP Jivo and the Navy Heritage are going back to their CP Wells now I don't know about this one this one was quite long manifest was quite long, bound for Elkhart, Indiana. Our second train of the day would end up being NS14N from Elkhart to Conway, Pennsylvania. It would be ET44AC, AH, Jeevo, and then a Jeep trailing behind the Jeevo. The Jeep behind the Jeevo is actually quite rare on a Chicago line. It's not a local, this is a full manifest from Con Elkhart heading towards Conway. Now I seen this the snow kick up from the train. You can see it's going fast. Now however, he is track speed through Holland. All trains sometimes go track speed through Holland. Now we have a mid GPU. It's NS4215. The EC44C6L would be as our mid GPU today. Alrighty, it's still freezing cold, and at this point, you could tell what we are waiting on. At this point, we were just shopping and then ate at a restaurant named Chili's, which food was waiting for us. Because we didn't eat breakfast at that time. We quickly went out the door and caught this, and caught the Navy Heritage Unit. However, the trailing unit, trailing third, the third unit would actually cut our supplies. Once we were at the restaurant, E went by Northwood, 25N from Columbus to Chicago, Illinois. At this time, now in 2023, it would be 267. Now and. Very long in a model, probably like at least two to one mile long, which is very long. And the NS Lackawanna Heritage in it, 1074, was the twenty third on this in a model.
we were just getting ready to leave. And then I went to check. There comes another westbound. At this point, I was like shooting photos. Didn't get to pan this westbound. Wasn't anything good, but so, whatever. However, it's just two GEs and one EMD ace. Now, this is kind of backlit, but whatever. Nothing special anyway. This one's also heading for, I would say, at least Chicago or Decatur, Illinois, or Kent City. But at this point, this one's heading for Chicago, Illinois. afternoon it's about like the two days after after catching the Lackawanna and the Navy Heritage you can see my dog running after me which is kind of cute but we're back around Northwood Ohio now we're well thinning by bigger junction Northwood Ohio and the video was a little shaky, but I got that fixed. So, this was back in 2021. Didn't have good equipment back then, but whatever. And whatever I had with me at the camcorder and my picture camera, which, is, which was a Canon T100. It was taking good pictures. But, this one is probably 14 and a 12. Now, when I think about it, now there's no more trains on the NS for now. This one is at least a CL6 local that is heading north. 4087 would be the leader of this local. I don't know what the local is, but it's probably Y110. Probably for Stanley Yard, which is over by Alexis Junction. And... He is a little bit long, but he's not that long as a, like a manifest. He's probably like at least 20 to 30 cars or something. With one SD40 Dash Lee is solo leading this local. This one is also a mix, animal, and Arawak. NS4320 is a brand new AC44C6M. It's one of the fresher ones. With brand new paint and really shiny. I like the new shiny ones, but sometimes they're getting boring. At this point, they were getting ready for the 44 series. So that was kind of boring. I didn't know about this one. It had ROX at the back of the train. Which means this one's heading up towards Detroit, Michigan. So he has a quite a bit long train for the Detroit. So he'll probably 
Rockies and a mortal off at Detroit yard. I, I can't pronounce the, the yard they dropped the in a bowl. The auto legs are probably going up towards Durham Heights. At this point, it's dead on freezing too. Not as bad as it was that Friday, but still pretty freezing. There goes the Monkey Gila. 8025 is leading this animal. It's like very freezing, not ready to go home. But we were out just for the 8025, the Monkey Gila Heritage Unit. It's special, but I've seen it before on Manifest and Animals. This one, luckily to happen to lead today. We're going to end off the video here at North Florida, Ohio. It was a really good two-day weekend of well training the Chicago line. The Friday of the 7th and February the 9th. I will see you guys next time along Michiganer or the Buckeye State Wells.